hi guys this is erica create your future and in today's video i wanted to talk about consistency do we want more consistency from that specific person um here's how you can get it uh, before i start the video i wanted to remind you that we are running a contest we are giving away some coaching sessions all the the, the details are in the description down below and also uh if you want to get notifications for uh, uh a sale that i have going on or new courses uh you can join our mailing list also the link is in the description down below okay so i know that a lot of us me including i've been there too uh, we experience lack of consistency from our partners it can be if we are interested in someone maybe they text us here and there but it's not consistent or even if we are already in a relationship maybe they're not consistent with um i don't know taking us out on dates or seeing us often or if we actually live with the person right we're married or living together maybe they're not consistent with the affection right so uh what's important to know is is remind ourselves that everything that we are experiencing it's based on thoughts on subconscious program and conscious uh habitual thoughts right so if we are experiencing a lack in whatever it is whatever situation that we're going through even um yeah even money I was just thinking lack of money, like if our, the money that is coming into our lives is not consistent, then there's that subconscious program running saying that I'm not deserving of plenty or I'm not deserving of the consistency. I'm not deserving of, or I feel like it comes from, because I've analyzed it in my personal life. I talk to a lot of people that I help coaching right and i discover time and time and time again that a lot of these programs come from childhood in my personal situation i think i've i've shared this before um growing up my dad was not around much because he had to work right he had to provide for a family so he wasn't consistent right and then even when he was at home like he had a drinking problem so even if he was there he was not present so he i felt like i didn't have that consistency and then when he ended up passing away all of a sudden he's gone so that the consistency completely was gone right he's all of a sudden he's not here so I realized that later on in life, I was not getting that consistency because I believe that that, that subconscious program also is the same thing as that little girl, that little Erica. It's still very present here telling me we don't get the consistency that we want from the person that we love in my, in my case. I don't get the consistency from the man, from the man, M-A-N, that I love, right? If that is the subconscious program, that kind of, not trauma, right? But this pain that I'm holding on to that, I'm not, I don't get the consistency from the man that I love. That's why now older, when I'm an adult, I experienced the lack of consistency because the subconscious program is we don't get the consistency from that person that we love. We don't get it. So what we have to do when we see this patterns of uh, inconsistency, right? You can go back to childhood and see if it comes from there or past relationships, right? But even if you're like, well, I don't know where it's coming from. What's important to know is just that the 3d reality is it's pro it's telling you because it's a projection it's telling you there's something in here that's manifesting this inconsistency so to get rid of that we have to now tell the subconscious program a different story and we do that by persisting in a new story right 
we need to talk to ourselves with this new identity, with this new um, state of mind of from now on, if we haven't been, if we haven't been receiving consistency from our partners or other areas, we have to identify ourselves with the story of from now on, I am deserving of the consistency. From now on, this is who I am. I always experience abundance of um, the, everything that I want. For example, if my partner is not being consistent with communication, right? We need to change the story. We have to identify ourselves with, I am someone that always receives the consistency of communication, or I am someone that always receives the consistency of love, right? My partners are always consistent in my life. And I do talk to that little girl, telling her, like, you need to release the pain, right, that you're holding on to. From, for example, with my dad, you need to release the pain of not feeling important, right? Not feeling a priority. You need to release the, 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 the feeling of, I don't get that consistency from, from the person that I love, right? Release it, let it go. It's in the past. The only thing that matters is, is the now moment, right? Because me, the adult, I am consciously selecting to experience a partner that is consistent in my life, right? I love you. I, I, I have your back, right? So release that pain. And now let's work together, right? I always think of, you know, like in the Bible, they say the Holy Trinity to me is like that in that my past, right? That younger Erica, me the adult, the conscious selector, the, the upper power, right? Me, the conscious adult Erica, and my higher self that knows it all, us together are working as a team towards the same goal, right? And as a team, I'm like, we are deserving of that love, the consistency, feeling prioritized, feeling chosen, feeling adored, right? So that's the, the story that I tell myself, that I tell the subconscious mind for the subconscious mind to start projecting that out in my 3D. Because let's remember that everything that we are experiencing in the 3D is just a projection, right? The only thing we have to do is change the 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 program or the dialogue, what we tell ourselves con continuously. So what I like to do is I tell myself, I love being in this amazing relationship. I love being with a partner that is very consistent with me. I love for money. I love having money uh, consistently flowing into my life. Money's always flowing in. I always have plenty, right? So we need to tell our, ourselves the story of having the consistency, having the commitment, having the communication, right? Identifying ourselves with someone that is deserving of the consistency and someone that only experiences consistency from her partners. Because if my identity is, I always get consistency, I always uh, am prioritized, it's impossible for me to experience people that continuously give me just a minimum because that's not my identity. I think I've given the, the example of like a magnet. If you try to put two magnets together, you feel the, like it's impossible, right? To me, my analogy is if that is my identity, I am always chosen. I am always getting consistency my partners are always consistent consistent with love commitment dates communication etc that's what i'm going to experience because everything is a reflection of me now also change the story of that you have of the person right instead of seeing them as he's not consistent he's not committing he doesn't reach out that much we need to change that story 
we have to be blind to the senses and if they're not being consistent right now we need to stop complaining about it of course it doesn't feel good right but use that emotion to say let's say that they're not being uh, consistent with communication right we need to stop complaining about he doesn't communicate with me be blind to the senses and say oh my god i love that jerry's always blowing up my phone of course he is like i'm always in his mind 24 7. he's so he's so loving towards me he he adores me i'm uh i'm his number one priority right when we do that that's what we're telling the subconscious the subconscious the subconscious is a faithful servant and it will just give you more of what you're telling yourself that that you have right but if we keep complaining he doesn't communicate he's not consistent that's what he's gonna do i was just talking to my daughter earlier today and she was feeling like oh like i just feel like when i'm talking to my boyfriend on the phone i feel like um i feel like i feel like he doesn't care and she was making this big deal out of it i'm like Sweetie, if you keep complaining and feeling he doesn't care, then you're going to keep getting more of a, a reaction, right? Like he's get, he will continue, he will continue to act like he doesn't care because that's your assumption. You have to change what you're telling yourself. Tell yourself, I'm the most lovable girl. I'm safe in this relationship. And instead of keep telling yourself that he doesn't care, change it into he cares so much about me i love how he talks to me because she feels like he when he talks to her he's like eh or like dismissive he's dismissive stop telling yourself that he is dismissive say he loves talking to me every time we talk we have amazing conversations amazing communications there's a lot of trust in the relationship right and the more you're consistent with that the faster you're gonna see changes so and then i i wanted to to read a couple of neville quotes which i think they're very easy to understand and uh hopefully they will help to to tie all this down right so the first quote that i wanted to share with you guys he he said this stop trying to change the world since it is only the mirror right we don't change the world the world is a mirror of what? Of this. Man's attempt to change the world by force is a fruitless, is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Leave, leave the mirror and change your face. Leave the world alone and change your conceptions of yourself. The reflection then will be satisfactory, right? Um, it's Neville Goddard, your faith is your fortune. So that is so true. See, we don't we don't try to change the, the reflection in the mirror. We have to change us for the reflection in the mirror to change. And manifesting is the same thing. If I keep complaining, they're not giving a hundred percent, they're not being consistent, the more they will give us inconsistency. So we have to change us for the reflection to change, for the 3D to change. So we need to tell us, uh, tell ourselves a story of I am always experiencing consistency from the partner that I choose and change the story that you have about your partner. He or she is always so consistent in my life. She's always or he's always present, always prioritizing me, always loving and adoring me, right? And then the, the reflection in the mirror, your 3D will change. Um, and there's another one that I want to share that I love. He said, I am wealthy, poor, healthy, sick, free, confined, where first of all impressions or conditions felt before they became visible expressions. Meaning, first I thought I am wealthy, and then it became a physical a visible expression or i am poor and then it became a visible expression right so it started with what was i telling myself first your world is your consciousness objectified meaning 
my world, my 3D is what became, you know, solid in the 3D before it was in my conscious mind, right? Or I mean, after it was in my conscious mind. Waste no time trying to change the outside, change the within or the impression and the without, the 3D or expression will take care of itself. When the truth of this statement dawns upon you, you will know that you have found the lost word or the key to every door. I am, your consciousness, is the magical lost word which was made flesh in the likeness of that which you are conscious of being. This is also from your faith as your fortune. So see, what are we conscious of being? What stories are we telling ourselves? What is it that we're experiencing in the 3D that is telling us that, that that's the program that is running, right? So all we have to do is change the story. Tell the subconscious mind, this is us now. And the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, again, is that faithful servant that will just project what you're telling it that you are right so i hope this made sense so when we are not getting the consistency all we have to do is change the story and tell ourselves that we are the serving that our, our identity is always getting plenty always getting the commitment always getting the attention always being prioritized i always get the consistency from the person that i love and always also tell yourself that this person before that maybe we can use that quote Neville quotes, I remember when specific person was not consistent with whatever, they're not being consistent, but now they are so consistent. They're always present. They always prioritize me. They always choose me, right? That's what we have to do. So, sorry, I stopped because I felt like I had to, I was going to say something else, but it just went flip. But yeah, that's what we have to do to, to experience um, consistency. We have to tell ourselves that that is what is happening. Okay. And yeah, we just have to be patient. I know a lot of us, I hear that I'm just impatient. I'm so impatient. But when we're impatient, we're saying it's not here yet. They're still not doing it. And then we're, if that's where our focus is, we're going to get more of that. So be patient because things are always moving right maybe we don't see it with our physical eyes but things are always moving so when you feel like i'm being impatient because i don't see it yet say no i don't need to be impatient because things are always moving something that has really helped me and has helped a lot of my clients is affirm for they are showing me with actions right now that they love me or they are showing me with actions right now that they're committed to me or right send that command actions we want to see actions and that's going to help you with you feeling like oh i'm just i'm not patient right i'm getting frustrated because you don't want to feel that you're stuck right so affirm and tell the story that i'm always getting um I'm always getting movement. It's happening now. They're showing me with actions. Okay. But yeah, let's change the story. Let's affirm for consistency, for abundance. We don't get any more breadcrumbs, right? We get abundance of everything we want, of the consistency, of the money, of the love, the feeling prioritized, treated like a queen or a king, right? That's the story that we're telling ourselves from now on. Let's release that past again i talk to myself that old erica and i tell her i got you you need to release that pain release that story we don't live in the past we live in the now moment where the power is and i only tell myself what i want to experience in my near future okay and i hope this this video helped you guys uh, if you need help with your specific situation i am more than happy to help you but uh yeah Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.